Yo, hey. Y'all see the tickets? We got 50 master tickets. This is my second time having 50. So, so far at this point, this will make me have had done two videos, 100 master pack tickets. Last time I did 50, no sparking. None. We did get the new extreme characters, all four of them. That was great. So this time, hopefully, we can get some sparking. Let's go. We're going to do all singles. If there's no pods, I got all the characters, so they all dupes, no matter who it is. If there's no pods, I'm going to skip the fight animation. I'm not going to skip the second animation. So, let's get All right, nothing. That way it go by faster, because with the heroes, with, well, with the no pods, um, I'm going to skip those because most of the time, they're not going to be sparking. However, there's a small chance it can be sparking, and I don't want to miss that. So, okay, we got one pot. No Super Saiyan. Right, right. No damage. Look like regular text. It's a tie. Is it extreme? Nope. Hero. Oh, oh, see, 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 see. Trunks. Okay, okay. See, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't want the, the first part. Granted, that one had a pot. It's just there's a chance that it can be a sparky. Nice. Okay. Trunks boosted up. Okay, okay. Dang, his health went up by almost 30K. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Shoot. Let's go. Oh, well, this already been better than the uh first um master pack tickets I did. No pods, no nothing. Hero, okay. So while we summoning, let's talk about this side step thing that people keep complaining about. Now me, I play PvP a lot. On this game, um, pots. No pots. Alright, um, I play PvP a lot, and I ran into people who did the sidestep thing a lot. Like, they were great, like, real good at it. Like, I couldn't do nothing at times. And I eventually figured it out, and I did it too. So, no pots. And, um, it's, it was cool. It's just at the same time, it's like, it wasn't really that game breaking how people making it out to be. It only really was game breaking to me with Goten. And that's because pots, no pots. That's because his damage output is like real high compared to other characters. And it's mainly due to the hybrid. The hybrid abilities, his boost from trunks, and his own ability, like, bruh, like, it, it stacks so much damage, and to chain that over and over and over again, gathering, ooh, three pods, dynamic, it's an extreme, can we get an extreme yellow piccolo, that'd be great, or frost, or purple Frieza. So let's see. One of those three. Or sparking. So. Okay. 18. Don't use her, so no, whatever. Um Yeah, though, I mean like it was very powerful. Now I definitely see why they removed it. Not only because of Goten, it's because of Gogeta. That dude is beyond wow. Unbelievable. I'm watching my team play football too, getting thrashed. Um, Raiders versus 49ers. It's not looking good. Anyways, though, Gochita, when he, with his ability, we we want to talk about Go Team. This dude, oh my, bro, oh my, it's bad, man. And it's like, I can see how that can be unfair because not only will most people not have these characters, it's the fact that once you start that. 
sidestep thing, you can get off at least four attacks at a minimum to me from what I noticed. Dang, that was a slow pie. That was real slow. Let's see, what was this? No damage. Big text. Big text. Don't mean nothing though. It's not an extreme. Is it you gonna tie? You lost? Vegeta? No Vegeta. No extreme. So um Yeah though, uh you can get off a lot of combos with the sidestep and with Gogeta man, it's so much damage. Like even if you got Gogeta, for somebody else to do that to you and you lose, let's say you play ten matches, you lose eight matches because of that feature. We, because eight people got Gogeta, you will be pretty pissed. You might say, Oh, Oh, they got the better of me is just come on now. Don't nobody like constantly losing. Like, okay, you can take a loss one to two, three times. Eight out of ten matches though, you ain't gonna be happy, man. Go miss me. You know, cause it's like it's like it's it's just it's unfair even for people who know how to do it because they wanna win, yet they're losing the same way they win. Like they're constantly losing the same way they win. I'm pretty sure it's happened to plenty of people who thought they were good. They went against somebody that did the sidestep, and they got eight over and over again. It's just how it is. And it, it was pretty broken. Like, me personally, I'm not upset that it got removed because, to me, I didn't know about it in the beginning, and it wasn't that big of a deal. And when it did happen to me, I was thinking, like, dang, man, like, is that even doing anything? I didn't even think it was doing anything. I just it was like I'm just waiting for my time to attack, and then I figured it out. And I was like, okay, well I can see why people were doing it. It's just that really wasn't the thing that was deciding my matches. What was deciding my matches was what Rising Rush card I chose, or what I did when they tried to fake me out by throwing a Kai blast, or if I could react to. People trying to get a, a quick a quick win, like trying to bull rush me. Like some people, they bull rush you. They just constantly rush you. They get in your face. They rush you. They step back. They switch, 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 rush you. Like some people real good at this game. And it's like what you need to do is try to find ways to deal with them. A lot of people, they want to play one way, one way only. Rushes only. Rushing only. I don't want to be on defense. Some people don't want to play defense. They want to stay all offensive. They don't want to play the support role, the defensive role, the medic role, none of that. Like a lot of people like to just stick to one one way and don't want to change it. A lot of people like to sidestep. The people that, that's complaining about it, in my opinion, are people who do three pots. Okay, okay. No super saiyan. It's an extreme guarantee. Is it a chance at a sparking though? Oh, got an uppercut. Okay. Throwing back. Regular tech. Is he gonna blow Frieza away? No, nah, Frieza, Frieza ain't think tired. It's a tire. It's an extreme though. That's good. Okay, extreme. Bardock, nice. I just got him the fifteen hundred last week, so this is good. Stat boost. Stat boost. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Let me see. Okay, 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 okay. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. We gotta get that. We gotta get that. Uh, that four star though. That's gonna bring them up. up you know, so, um, yeah though. Like the people I see, like if you were complaining about the side getting removed, it's mainly because you want a lot of your matches doing it. And what you're saying to me, in my opinion, is you can't win without it. Because how I see it, I was winning without it. You know what I mean? And it's like, like I said earlier, like, it's all about how you want to deal with things. Like, some people, they want to play one way. Whereas other people, they can adjust to different types of uh, strategies people want to use. Like, um, 
a lot of people use the hybrid characters. And what are they good for? In my opinion, Bull Rush. Go, Gohan hits real hard. Goten hits real hard. Trunks hit real hard. So if you pretty much stop their Bull Rush, what do what are they left with? You know? Wear them out. Wear them out. Beat them down. You know, because you can line them up, knock them down. And when you knock them down, one by one, the team get weak. Because I used to, I ain't gonna lie, I used to fear Gohan. I ain't gonna lie, I used to fear the dude because he's so strong. Uh, I realized that he's not the threat. People save him for last. The threat is Goten and Trunks. Those are the threats. Those are the monsters. You take out one of them or both of them, Gohan pretty much sweet meat. Hit him with a rising rush with two people, he pretty much gone, you know? So that's just what I learned, though, you know? I, I, I could be wrong. It's just I've 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 dealt I've done it, and it seems like the right choice, you know. Um, and another thing I know a lot of people say the people who spend money got an advantage. What kind of advantage do they got? They got characters with higher stats. Okay, big deal. Last time I checked, oh my gosh, I fuck. This game is just over. Ain't point even watching this. Um, last time I checked, um. They said that they nerfed the characters. If the characters' power levels are higher than, you know, like the opposing team, they nerfed the characters. They flat out said that, like, we lower the, to, to balance it out, to make it more fair. Because obviously, the stronger the car character, the either it will be to beat up a weaker character. And it's like, if you spend a lot of money, odds are you gonna have way stronger characters and wouldn't nobody want to play PvP if they can't win? Just like with the whole sidestep thing, a lot of people complaining about that getting removed because they can't win without it. Like you need to find another way because it's it, it it's gonna happen and it already happened. They already removed it, they nerfed it. Now it's to the point where it's like if you do it, you pretty much have downsides. There's things in the news, to go read the in-game news, they have things that say this is what is going to happen when you don't do it, and this is what's going to happen if you do do it. So, you know, it's 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 all about trying to be fair. A lot of people are upset. However, like I said before, that's because they they stick to one way on how to play this game. You need to figure out a way. They got four different types of characters on this game. Melee, attack type, defense, defense type, support, support type, and then uh, range. Oh, and then ranged. Ranged for ranged attacks. Melee for, struck, for regular punching attacks, kicking attacks. Support, you know, medic, all that. And then defense, you know, like, it's all about, like, strategy. You know, you figure out what is the current meta, Based off the popular characters, they they just they throw they throw hints at you on what to do. The popular characters are the ones that you're going to see the most frequently in PvP. So you set your team up to deal with the popular characters. Stop using the same characters everybody else using because odds are you don't got the skills to beat them. You know, so it's like switch your team up. Like I'll show y'all my PvP team after this if I remember to because, like I said. I set my team to deal with um, the threats that I feel like are threats. Like for me, the biggest threats for me are Gogeta and Goten. Like I said earlier, like those two characters are real powerful. They hit real hard. Um, and I got ways to deal with that. You know? So, and it's like, even if you don't got the sparking characters, you know, like the extreme characters are weaker however you can still win with them like the bit the best way to win in my opinion with weaker characters is through rise and rush if you get one hopefully you can land it because that can change the match five pause dynamic okay okay is this a sparking okay we got a draw okay red text no red text Got a tie, extreme. Yep, 
another Bardock. Nice. Four star? Or is he close to three star? Three star. Okay, okay. I said four star. I jumped the gun. We get a Z boost, Z ability boost. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Okay, okay. 23 more to go. Damn, we halfway through? How many long the video? The video cut because I run out of space. So hopefully it don't. I'm, you know, trying to work here, man. Trying to work here. No pods. Um, you know, I mean, like, the, the big thing about this game anyway is the PvP. And if it isn't fun or fair, most people won't play it. You know, like, man, that sidestep stuff was broken. You know, it really was. Especially if the people who knew how to do it did it like every fight. Like, they didn't just do it like some fights. They did it like every fight, and you went against them like pretty often. You ain't going to win a lot of those matches. Oh, we got a fast pod. No Super Saiyan, no. Um... Yeah, you ain't gonna win a lot of those matches. So, it's like, what can you really do, man? Like, you can try to get a different strategy team, you know? It's just, at the end of the day, with Goten and Gogeta pumping out the damage they pump out, and you could say Gohan, or like, even the newer characters, like, the higher the stats go, the more powerful the characters are gonna become, you know, and... Eventually, we're going to get to the point where the characters are so powerful, you're either going to have somebody to deal with them, or you're just simply going to lose. Like, it won't even come down to skill at that point because the characters are just too strong, you know. And um, that's going to be something to see on this game because, like I said, a lot of people, man, they stick to one way and they don't want to change it. And this game has, they're trying to make it more fair by releasing characters that can stop or slow down types of characters. Like the new Majin Buu, he can restrict switching for five seconds. That's great. It can slow down somebody that's trying to constantly switch out characters or do a bull rush. Um, the new Deborah, he, um, he got the ability to, uh, with it and I think it's inflict attribute downgrades. This is so bad, man. Wow. That's um he can inflict attribute downgrades, which can, you know, cause them to deal less damage. That's slowing down a bull rush. You know, like that type of stuff is great. Or even if you go back to Android 16, he can block I think it's 50% damage. And then he can he can he can reduce the damage by 50% and then he can heal back half of that damage. Like those type of things are type of thing are the type of things that people need to look into to try to be able to deal with some of these more powerful characters. Because like I said, eventually some characters are just going to be too strong. Like ain't nothing you can do. Like in my opinion, with Gogeta, he's just too strong to fight one-on-one. -on -one. Like if you can beat him with a rising rush, Good job. If you can't or you can't stop him, feel bad. I had the blue piccolo. The blue piccolo. Full health. Nearly full health. I think it was nearly full health. This dude took it all. Strike our cards. Rush. Boom, 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 boom. Rush. Boom, 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 boom. And that's because his power stacks with each hit. And it's like, what, what can you do against that? You know, it ain't really much you can do. And... All you can do is take it. And like I like I was saying earlier, if they kept the side step, that would have been like unstoppable. Like honestly, like I don't care what nobody says, like whether or not they good at this game or not. If you get hit with that amount of power constantly, dude. Some people real good at this game. Like, there's some people I'm not saying I'm good. I think I'm okay plus, you know, I'm I'm good enough, you know, I've, I've reached 50, you know, a couple times, 
maybe three times, you know. I've been taking PvP a lot series on this game, so I try to reach 50 every time to come out. You know, no more than 50, though, at the moment, at least. And, um, you know, like, some people, though, they real good. And it shows, like, I fought some people. I couldn't even do anything. I was just sitting there, like, watching, like... <laughs> <laughs> they just too, they they too good man and it's that's great to see people good like that it's just those type of people though that beat me they actually have skill they weren't doing the same thing over and over again to the point where it was like you just all you doing is sidestepping me and then you're using this one op character to do all this damage because i've beaten people that done that and when they lost that one character they weren't nothing special you know they weren't nothing special and um, I ran into that a lot. So, you know, to me, it's um, it's, some, it's, one of, it's just one of those things where it's like, you know, you just got to get used to this game and figure out what people like to do because it is live PvP. You know, this is no, um, you can pause it and, you know, look at replays or anything like that. This is like live. Like, you got to figure out stuff quick figure it out because when you hesitate you can mess up and or when you overthink or get cocky like i have gotten cocky and it caused me to lose matches it's like it's just things that like things you just got to get used to and you ain't gonna win every match you might dc shit happens you know it's just one of those things where it's like you play the game play the win you lose try to learn from it you know if you keep losing you know maybe you need to get better characters and this game is excuse me, it's pretty nice when it comes to giving our characters. They give us a lot of free Chrono Crystals, a lot of free tickets. You know, like, they're giving us ways to summon on the banner through tickets without even using Chrono Crystals. That's great. You know, a lot of games don't do that. <laughs> Bleach. And, um, you know, it's just one of those things where it's like, even if you don't get the character you want, you can always spend some money. Well, you know, I'm free to play. I'm free to play. So, wait. You're telling me you want something because you're free to play, yet you don't want to even pay for it just a little bit? Like, even if you buy, like, I think they got, like, Chrono Crystal Packs for under $10 for a multi, I think. I got to check. You know, like, they be having sales on this game and some pretty good sales. And it's like some people, they don't even want to spend that. And it's like, you upset, though, that you didn't get what you wanted. Like, did you spend money? Nah, you didn't. You know? Like, I get being upset. It's just some people be real upset. And it's like, if you if you don't spend money, you don't got that right to really be that mad. Because you ain't really invest anything. Everything was free. You know? Like, you just got to understand that, like, you ain't gonna always get what you want, man. Cause if you did, the game the game company wouldn't make no money. Or they're already making no money from people who are completely free to play. You know, it's the people that's pay to play that make the game get more content. You know, make them want to keep making more content. Three pods, okay. Can we get another extreme at some point? We down on like eight tickets. We got a tie, red text. Regular text. Another tie. Here, Piccolo. Yes. Okay. Yeah, nine thousand or close to it. Oh, yeah. he, he he getting there. Let's see. Nine thousand two hundred and twenty-two. So I need three more extreme Piccolos, and he'd be seven star. It's looking good, man. All right. We got seven more to go, y'all. Let's wrap this up. Um, Yeah. I mean, that's just how I feel about the whole side step thing. Like, me personally, I'm glad it's gone. At the same time, like, it was cool when it was here. I'm not going to lie. Like, cause, like I, I did do it, you know. It's just it wasn't that big of a deal to me because it was like I, I still found ways to win before it. And I found ways to win after it. So it's whatever. You just got to adjust to it. As far as people who spend money on this game, I wish you the best luck because it is RNG. You can't get shafted. You can't uh, spend a lot 
and not get anything. Like I spent seven thousand Chrono Crystals to get the yellow sparking freezer. When he came out, didn't get him. Was I mad? Hell yeah. However, I got over it because it was like it was free Chrono Crystals, and I wanted to switch devices anyway. So it was like whatever, you know. It's just seven thousand. Now I didn't. Not only did I not get freezer. I didn't get a single sparking character. Not one. It blew my mind that that could happen. Because, like, not one. 7,000. Three pods. Okay, can we get a Super Saiyan? Yes, we got a Super Saiyan, finally. Can we get a, a red text sparking? Got a tie? Can we get a sparking text? Oh, the regular small text. Come on. Give me another sparking. Let's end the video on a strong note. Vegeta, come up. Kaka, what are you doing? Nope. Red. <sighs> Dr. Jero. Okay, okay. I originally, I got him maxed out. It's just, I wanted to uh, use him. I wanted to actually play with him. I got his whole tree maxed out. Like, you see his power level? It's pretty high. Wait, is he all the way done? I think he near done. Oh, no. No, I didn't max him out all the way. I, I do I did want to use him though with Android uh nineteen. I wanted to use their little combo. Um I never got around to doing it because I got Frieza. I did get Frieza at one point through Master Tickets actually. When this first came out, I got him pretty early. So that was great. It's just um, uh, you know those that was just one of those times where Back when I spent those crystals, I wasn't going to, I didn't get what I wanted, you know, and it did suck. It's just, I got over it because it was like, I didn't spend no money. It was free, you know, I wanted to switch devices anyway, you know, no big deal. You know, like there's more opportunities and apparently with this game, there's a lot of opportunities to get the characters you want at some point. So it's all about waiting. We got like two more to go. We're gonna call it a video. I'm glad uh I got another 50. I got a uh, few a few few extremes. One sparking. Um would have been nice to get more. It's just oh well, you know. I bought the metal master pack ticket, so I don't got any more after this. Besides the PvP ones I get. Alright, three pods. No Super Saiyan. Okay. A little twist again. Faint Freezer. Red text. Faint Freezer. Nope. Pushing back. Lost. Extreme Piccolo. Trunks. Okay. Okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. Last one, y'all. Can we get a spark in? Bandai, come on, Sparky, what? Sparky, fingers crossed. No pots, nothing. All right, y'all, that's it. I'm out. Good luck if you're doing Master Pack ticket summons, and hopefully when we get our ticket, you get what you want. Um. Oh, I can't see it out there. This ticket, I'm hoping I can get Majin Buu. I really like Majin Buu and Order Bora. So that's what I'm hoping. So yeah, we got some more to go. So yeah, peace out, y'all.